This is Logan Hall with the Eastern Shore Regional GIS Cooperative, and you're watching a video tutorial on how to build LES datasets and render in 3D using ArcGIS for desktop. In this video tutorial, we'll learn how to create an LES dataset, we'll examine the LES statistics, we will view 3D point cloud data, and create surface models from our LES datasets. This tutorial will show you how to build an LES dataset and view three-dimensional rendering of LiDAR data in ArcGIS for desktop. This tutorial does require spatial analyst and 3D analyst extensions. The first thing we'll do is open our customized dropdown and open extensions. Ensure that 3D analyst and spatial analyst have been activated. Click close. So what is an LES dataset? Well, LES is the industry standard file format for storing LiDAR data. An LES dataset stores reference to one or many LES files on disk. LES datasets can also store additional surface features such as break lines, boundaries, and other polygon constraints. With an LES dataset, you can generate statistics on the native LES files you can generate statistics on all the LES files combined. You can quickly and easily view, manage, and edit large areas of the LiDAR data. You can also export surface model raster datasets directly from the LES dataset in ArcGIS for desktop. Similar to a mosaic dataset, the LES dataset simply references files on disk. This allows for minimizing required storage space as well as limiting redundancies in your data. However, it is always recommended to keep an archive copy of your LES files. Any changes to point classifications made within the LES dataset will apply to the native LES file. These changes are irreversible, therefore, maintaining a collection of backup LES files is prudent. In ArcMap, we can use the search icon and type in LES dataset. and open the Create LES Dataset tool. First thing is to browse for LES files. In this case, we have nine adjacent files within Baltimore County. Navigate to your Output Workspace folder and name your Output LES Dataset. In this tutorial, we do not have any surface constraints. The coordinate system will default based on the LES file provided, but we will check both boxes to compute statistics and store relative paths. Click OK to generate your LES dataset. You can navigate to the geoprocessing dropdown and open results. This will indicate when the Create LES Dataset tool has completed. Once the LES Dataset is completed and added to the map, we can close our results window and zoom to full extent. Notice how currently there's only nine boundaries Under Table of Contents, we'll see our data percentage is zero. This value will update as we zoom in and pan the map based on the percentage of points returned at the current scale. Currently at full scale, there are too many points to render, so it just shows us the boundary footprints. As we zoom in to the data set, our point cloud becomes visible and our data percentage starts to update. Notice the scales between 1 and 300 and 1 and 400 is where the drop-off 
and point thinning begins. The application defaults to 800,000 points, preventing the application from crashing immediately upon loading a dataset. You can open layer properties and adjust this point value, however performance will likely be affected. There's a hard cap at 5 million points. If we double click the LAS dataset to open layer properties, we can set point limit to 5 million. This is the hard cap maximum for point limit rendering. If we click apply and click OK, notice as you zoom in and out, we're still dropping the same data percentage. If we open layer properties again and check the box to use scale to control full resolution, we'll leave it default for 1000, click apply and click OK. Now notice within a scale of 1 to 1000, our data percentage points will equal 100%. As we zoom out past 1 to 1000, the points begin to thin and drop off significantly. We navigate back to the catalog window, navigate to your output workspace folder. We can right click our LAS dataset and open properties. If we go to the LAS files tab, we can view statistics on each individual LAS file. So we'll click the top line, click the ellipsis to expand the LAS file properties and statistics. Here we'll have general information about the LAS file projection, offsets, file size and point count, statistics on return values, classification codes, environment extents and attributes. We can navigate through each file in our data set in this window to view similar information. If any changes have been made to your LAS dataset or files, you can update and force a recalculation as well. We close this window and navigate to the Statistics tab on our LAS dataset properties. This will open up a sum of all statistics across the LAS dataset. Point count by return, Z min and max, attributes, classification codes. And classification flags. Again, if any changes have been made, we can update our statistics and force recalculation in this window. Adding functionality to our LES dataset, you can right click our menu bar and add the LES dataset toolbar. This gives us access to LES dataset options, point rendering, tin rendering, contours, simple filters, profile, and 3D views. If we zoom back in to the 1 to 1000 scale, rendering 100% of our data points, We can generate a triangulated irregular network with all of our points returned. We can filter out by ground or going back to our elevation point rendering, we can draw an LAS dataset profile cross section.
We'll switch our filters back to all points. We'll select our LES dataset profile view. Single click in the map to start the profile view. The second click will determine the length of the profile. And the third click will determine the width of the profile. Notice our profile view is a cross section of our point cloud. We can see canopy coverage, building rooftops, and the topography. With the profile view window still open, we can click LES dataset 3D view. Using the navigate icon, left click and drag on your cursor will rotate the point cloud. If you have a mouse wheel, clicking in the mouse wheel will pan the point cloud. And using the right click on the mouse, we can zoom in and out of the point cloud. Before we process an LES dataset to a raster dataset, you should consider the number of points in the dataset and the extent of coverage of your output raster. Trying to process a few billion points may be possible, however such a demanding process is certainly cumbersome. Splitting the dataset into multiple raster outputs is oftentimes more efficient. In our catalog window, if we right click our LES dataset and open properties, Go to statistics, we'll see our total point count is only 116 million points. This should be reasonable for a single output raster. The desired output cell resolution is also a key factor to consider. Inspecting your metadata is critical for understanding the nominal point spacing and appropriate cell resolution. Typically, Quality level 2 data with a nominal point spacing of 0.7 meters is suitable for 1 meter cell resolutions. You will also need to determine what type of surface model you want to generate. To generate a DEM, you need to apply a filter to the LES dataset to return only the ground points. To generate a DSM, or digital surface model, you need to apply a filter to only return the first return points. In the LES dataset toolbar, filter options are available. You can also access filter options through the LES dataset layer properties. Under table of contents, we double click our LES dataset. Under filter tab, we can select ground, all returns, and click apply. Using the search icon, we'll say LES dataset to raster and open the conversion tool. We'll set our input LES dataset, select your output workspace folder, and name your output raster. Our interpolation type will be triangulation, linear interpolation with no point thinning. Our output data type is a floating point, and the sampling type will be cell size. If we open layer properties of our LES data set under source, we can see that the linear units are feet. Therefore, our cell size will be represented in feet as well. So our sampling value will be 3.28084. Click OK to run the tool.
once your DEM output has been created, we can open up the LES data set properties again. Under filter, we'll select all classes and select the predefined settings for first return or check the box for first return. Click apply and click OK. Open up the LES dataset to raster conversion tool again. It's your input LES dataset. Select your output raster and name it accordingly. Again, triangulation. And again, our cell size in feet, 3.28084, which is equivalent to one meter cell. Click OK to run the tool. With the resulting data sets, our digital elevation model and our digital surface model can be used for further analysis working with a local raster data set. For additional resources, please visit imat.maryland.gov and to access your Maryland LiDAR topography server, visit lidar.geodata.md.gov forward slash imap.